wow, there's more great stuff to learn about Star Idaho? You got to be pulling my leg. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, your great real estate agent by your side when it comes time to buy a home, sell a home, or even relocate right here to the Treasure Valley. And so I've got this series of uh, video interviews about people in STAR. Uh, my buddy Dennis has been helping me out with that. And today we're going to be talking with Carrie over at the STAR Country Cafe. And if you haven't met her, well, doggone it, you need to get over there and introduce yourself and <laughs> buy a cinnamon roll. Check it out. Hey Dennis, where are we at what are we doing? Well, we're at the Star Cafe here in beautiful Star, Idaho, and we're here for breakfast. So why don't you come on in and watch us eat breakfast? And we'll have a little talk about Star, Idaho and why you should move here. It's a wonderful place and filled with friendly people and a great restaurant with good food. Boy, howdy, I could use some. All right, let's, let's go. go. All right. Hey. Hi, Casey. Hey. Casey. How wow. are you? It's been so long. Have a seat, please. Okay. How are you doing? Good, good. Wow, we always look forward to coming in here. Nice. Um, Dennis is a regular, right? Right, absolutely. Dennis comes in quite often. Yeah. Dennis, why would you come in here so often? For the friendly people and the great food. And to see Casey. Casey <laughs> yeah. Wow. So Casey's the manager here. I don't know if you knew that or not. Where are we at? Um, Star Cafe Star in Star Ad Star Idaho. Yeah. yeah. Star yeah. Idaho. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So why did it's like I see the same people in here every time I come in? Is it like a almost like a family thing going on? Well, here? it's been it's been here for, for well, since 1985. We've been a restaurant, and um, a lot of the old timers, people that have been coming in here for years, um, still come in. So we have a counter full first thing in the morning. I open the door and there's a lot of people waiting and it's just great. And everybody knows everybody's name. Yeah. It's, it's really, like cheers, right? Yeah, kind of yeah, like cheers. Like yeah. cheers. Yeah. 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 So you have been here how long now? I've been here four years. Okay. Okay. And I, I noticed the same crew all the time here. So mm -hmm. Yeah, all of my stuff is really consistent, really good. Um, we're like a big family. We're not family, but we're like a family. Right. And it's really nice because yes. everybody just yes. like just loves our people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's the food, the family-friendly atmosphere. Yeah. The food is amazing. Our cooks have been here. They started out as dishwashers, and they have been working here for ten plus years, and they're they're just amazing. This is kind of the gathering place for people in Star, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It we is. We have another table. We've got seven of us today. You can be talking oh. over here. <laughs> is that one of the family it's people? It's one of our family friends, <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. Uh, um, it went right out of my head. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So maybe we... So, so have you noticed more people coming to Star? Oh my goodness, there's so many more than there ever used to be. Right. Um, Is that a bad thing? It's no, it's it's a great thing. Everybody's welcome. It's God's country, so yeah. everybody's welcome. Um, um, but it can be a little bit overwhelming. We're not used to the influx of people. Like I heard, you're up to three traffic lights. Oh yeah, yeah. and we <laughs> never even had one before. Yeah. <laughs> I know I was welcomed here for the first from the first day I got here, which, which mm -hmm. for me being welcomed anywhere is kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. So um, I would. This is almost the first place I went when I got into town, right? And I it just felt like home. And Casey and I have been friends since the very first time. Yeah, we met. Yeah, yeah, I love it, and I love you know I'm from Idaho. But the diversity and things like that, just learning about different things that happen in different places, is good for me as well. Because uh -huh. I've never really been anywhere else besides good old Idaho. So lucky. I know. It took me fifty years to figure that out. I didn't. I didn't know that I was that lucky either. Yeah. Nice. So what's? So you're open for breakfast and lunch. Uh huh. We what? close. We're open from six to two, seven days a week. Okay. And so um, what's your specialty? Our specialty is chicken fried steak and biscuit and gravy. Our oh. gravy is amazing. It's like a fan favorite. And um, so when you come in, if you try a biscuit and gravy, you're probably going to love it and you'll be back. And I understand you have cinnamon rolls? Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, they're big. We make them every day. Um, the cooks are in here. They're so great. They're in here at 2.30, 3 o'clock every morning cooking, doing soups. All the soups are handmade. Um, chicken fried steak is hand breaded and done here. Um, the potatoes are cut here, all of that kind of stuff. So they start very, very early and they get it done and it's really, really good. 
I noticed when we first came in that there was a Bible group meeting here. Oh, so we, we have, have several groups. They're, yeah. they're great. Yeah, so a lot of times it looks like we're really busy, and we probably are, but not as busy as a parking lot may, might look. Right. Because we have um, groups that come in here, and, and, um, and there's several usually you know 20 people 15 people sometimes just depends right. and um people talk about the lord back here and we love the lord here too so nice yeah. and you're located next to city hall mm -hmm. right? right next in, to city hall right in, across from the, the mercantile star mercantile that's been here forever and ever right in, in glorious downtown star yeah yeah right on the main street right on main street yeah which state is street. state street right so if you had some advice for someone that's never lived here or that's coming up here what should they make sure they check out besides coming here obviously they're going to be coming here oh well there's a lot of things to check out we've got the winter carnival coming in mccall that's going to be this coming weekend we've got of course bogus basin there's a lot of hot springs around here um there's so much hiking and and um, natural, beautiful sites. Right. The river is right. The river, the yeah, we, we're all around water, so it's, it makes it very nice. A lot of boat races and different things happen around. And some fishing going on. Lots of fishing, yeah, fishing and hunting, yeah. Wow. And so skiing. Are you going to be taking care, taking advantage of some of these things she's talking about? Um, well, I'm going to take advantage of breakfast. <laughs> well, that's true too. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, roll. And, and the river will be one of my favorite spots, and because I'm a big fisherman. Sure. Yeah. So no, that's one of the reasons I moved to Star is there is so much to do and it's it's small town America. You you don't see small a lot of small USA. town America. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's it's a wonderful place. It's a friendly place. You know, there's there's nothing about this place so far that I've encountered that hasn't been absolutely perfect. I just real I love the people. I, you know, people complain about the traffic. <laughs> I come from the Bay Area. This is nothing compared, <laughs> compared to what it was like in the right. Bay Area. You know, I used to commute two hours each way to work. Oh. You know, and that's only like three miles. Yeah, yeah. Now I could walk everywhere in town in ten minutes. It's just, it's just great. And when I was coming over here, traffic was so bad because there was one person in front of me. It's like terrible. It? Yeah, <laughs> one, one whole car. Yeah. You got to get going because you got a lot of work. You have to. You have to get my cinnamon roll. I do. Thank yeah. you for stopping by. Yes. And I'll take a Denver omelet. A Denver omelet with hash browns? No. Just, just, the, just omelet. the omelet. And okay. I'm going to have some of them, the gravy and biscuit too that you're talking about. Biscuit and gravy. And okay. cinnamon roll. And okay. coffee. Okay. And water. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy. <laughs> wow, Dennis, you were right. They serve a lot of food there. That was a lot good of food. stuff. And you got to stay away from those cinnamon rolls. Oh, that's my weak spot, right? Yeah, there. yeah. For me, it's the Denver omelet. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, good that stuff. And the biscuits and gravy. Oh my God, the biscuits and gravy are fantastic. It was a challenge to eat it all. Yeah, it was. Uh, challenge well, accepted. Yeah, we did a great job at it, didn't we? We sure did. Let's do this again. <laughs> okay, you got it. <laughs> See ya. So what'd you think? Make you want to go uh, get some breakfast over there at the Star Country Cafe? I'm ready. I tell you what, when you're in town, come up here, a long journey, and you need a place to go get a lunch or a breakfast, you let me know. We'll go on over there. Hey, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for stopping in and learning more about real estate in Nampa, Idaho, and the Treasure Valley. If you'd like to learn more, watch this video here next, or binge on this playlist. When it comes time to sell a home, buy a home, or even relocate to the Treasure Valley, your Treasure Valley Dave team is your real estate expert by your side, helping you get home.